All right, today on the bench we have a Sansui 2050C. The uh, issue with this one, oh, before I even get started, hopefully this is one of the last videos with this uh, camera and mic setup. So I'm working on getting a new camera and a different mic. Um, so anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully this is the last one with this webcam that I'm using. So anyway, Sansui 2050C, really like these turntables. Um, I've had a couple that I've gone through in the past personally, you know, bought and then sold. Um, I like them, I think they're good looking, but um, the shops had this one for a while. And the issue with this one, and it, re it just recently developed this issue, but the tone arm drops like a rock so it needs to be redamped so I'm going to go through the redamping procedure for the tone arm on this once I get it apart here sorry I got lots of stuff going on let me just tap this <coughs> remove that platter you can see the remnants of uh, an old belt here. And it actually melted some of the finish off of the top. So I may, uh, I probably need to clean that off because that's not good. I don't remember going through this one. This one actually came from another tech that the shop used to use. And um, yeah, well, <laughs> there, maybe there's a reason he used to use that technician. I don't know. Not that I'm the greatest in the world, but you know, that's you just wipe that off with a little bit of alcohol on, and it's clean. Now, one thing about these is um, on the bottom here. I want to show you this. These feet are known to kind of collapse and compress, and this bottom panel um, sometimes it, it'll cave in. It's really, really thin, like plywood. So a lot of times these will sit uh, crooked. The last two I've seen, well this one, and then the last one that I worked on, they, they sit crooked because the motor is back in this corner and the turntable will kind of lean in that direction. So, and then uh, again, a lot of times, something, sometimes these foam feet are missing or they just kind of compress and uh, smash themselves down, so. So what I'm going to do is uh, remove these screws. I think I have to remove these screws to uh, take this apart, but I'm going to go ahead and get this apart, and then we'll start looking at uh, the process required to redamp the tone arm. All right, uh, so bottom came off. I just want to show you how thin this bottom panel is. So if you can see, I mean, that's like eighth of an inch. I mean, there's, there's nothing to it. You can flex it. I mean, you can just bend it. So again, when you get one of these, because this is a very heavy turntable, um, don't be surprised, especially with the foot placement. So what I don't understand with this design is you've got this really soft, flexible, super thin plywood, and you've got the feet like sitting here where there's really nothing to support. Like there's nothing to support these. And then you can see where they're already misshapen. Like this one is fat here and then skinny there. So I, I mean, like if I were to keep one of these, um, I'd probably remove these and put uh, some larger Viber pods there. Because I think once you tried to remove these, since they're just glued on, you're just gonna destroy them. So anyway, enough about that. So here's the bottom. Um, let's see where the, so here's the lifter right here underneath this lever here. And that's what we need to get to, to redamp it. Now, I, I haven't redamped one of these. I'm completely uh, flying blind here. I'm not, I have not looked at the service manual yet, but I'm thinking remove the screw 
and remove that plate and hopefully we can get to removing the uh, tone arm stand and elevator and uh, be able to redamp that. So I'm going to remove a little tone arm elevator guide. I guess I, that's what I'm going to call it. This little guide here that the tone arm slides on. I'm going to screw that all the way in there so I don't lose it. And I think I might be able to just pull that right out. That'd be awesome if I can. Came right out of there. This has got to be the easiest redamp that I've had to do. If this is, I better knock on wood. <laughs> I'm going to jinx myself. That's all I have to do. That is awesome. That was super easy. So clean off all the old damping fluid. And I usually just kind of eyeball this. Sometimes I, to me it's better to have this a little slow than, than too fast. A little slow, it's just you have to be patient. Too fast, you know, when this drops down and hits that record, you can, uh, you can damage the stylus, you can ruin the cartridge, you can also um, damage your gear. So, so put some of this silicone grease in that little channel. A little reservoir channel there and pop that back in work it a couple times I may have put a little bit too much on there, so let's clean some of that off. Back on there. Clean off some of this excess on the side here. Right. Loosen that guide up. Okay. I'm not going to put the bottom on. I'm just going to flip this over. And while 
before I test it, I'm going to see if I can remove some of that belt residue because it's still sticky. And um, not sure, maybe it won't come up. No. Also, maybe that was as clean as he could get it. Oh, that's a big chunk of belt right there, so no. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil in here while I got it apart. Spindle seems alright. I may oil that, but uh, right now I'm going to test this for uh, drop speed. And see if this is better than it was. We'll have another one of these coming up. The other one makes a really loud pop noise. So I'm not sure if this has a, oh, I'm sure it has a capacitor in some way, shape, or form that's supposed to deal with that when it's switched off, when the, uh, when the switch um, that powers it off is depressed or whatever. Um, usually it's like a safety capacitor that needs to be replaced. So I'm gonna do that on the other one. So you'll, you'll see another Sansui coming up. Not sure when. Probably won't be for a while. I got lots of stuff on the in the queue, I should say. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to test this out. I'm going to check the height, which is, <coughs> excuse me, height is way high, which doesn't really matter right now, but. I want it to be crazy. And I'm going to power on. I just want to see it drop. So play 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. So I think, let's try that again. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. That is super good. Awesome. Put a couple of drops of oil there. The motor. And this this has been service, so I'm just uh, kind of doing what I can do to it without getting too crazy. Sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, so that one was easy. Redamping the tone arm on a Sansui 2050C. Yeah, and this sounds fine. I mean, it's one of the shop turntables. He, uh, at uh, 402 Vinyl in, in Bellevue, Nebraska. Uh, he has several systems, I mean, several systems set up. I will shoot a video of the shop one time if you're ever in this neck of the woods. Um, it's a great shop, best record selection in town, best selection of electronics in town. So lots of stuff, lots of beer signs, stuff like that, so. All right, so I'm gonna call this done. I'm going to, um, Put the bottom on. Uh, I may polish the dust cover just with a basic polish. The dust cover is not in bad shape by any stretch of the imagination, so I don't need to go crazy with it. But anyway, I'm going to button this up, and uh, this one's good. So uh, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.